Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Modded, playing on the FTB Revelation Modded Minecraft 1.12 Mod Pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. We've got some progress to show. we got to take a look at auto crafting and an automated wither grinder and the overall base design and a squid farm. Anyway, lots of progress. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are up at the top. Not much has changed up here since the last time. And in fact, I don't even have a new solar array. Nope, we don't have anything to show there. One thing that I realized that I'd forgotten to tell you is that you may be wondering where the water wheel went, or the water wheels rather, and all the thermoelectric generators. Well, turns out Voodoo Beard and Late Night with Tick had a little bit of an issue on their base and their chunk got corrupted. So I donated those over to them. I don't know if they've used it, but hey, it's there. So uh, that's that's why I did that. I've got the solar array now. I don't really need the other generation. So they served me well. And, uh, and yeah, there we go. So you saw something right here. We'll get to this floor in a little bit. But yes, we do have another floor. And that means that we have a ceiling as well. Yes, yes, yes. Very excited about that. Finally, I have a ceiling covering things in and don't look over there don't look over there uh, the ceiling in place means that our trees do not grow out of out of uh, control yes they stay well within standard height and you notice that it's not being harvested because we've got we got a little bit of of controlling going on on that so let's uh, let's go take a look shall we at the base organization we see you we've got some walls have changed out the design. Remember I said I didn't like the laboratory block design that we had there. And now we've gone with just regular tile up here. And then vents. And then large tiles down here on uh, kind of a wainscoting, wainscoting. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I've heard it both ways. And then you see we've got a few more things to look at here. We've got a pattern terminal, an interface terminal, and a fluid terminal. That's right. We've got fluid stored and I'll show you that in uh, in due course we do have a pattern terminal you use this to create patterns for auto crafting and you do both craft uh, crafting patterns and processing patterns but I've been doing both and then we've got an interface terminal over here and you can see all of the various things that are available on the network now I have been busy I've been very busy so um, let's take a look at changes over here We've got a screen controller in place now, and so that means we can run our our mob farm from here. So just case in point, we'll right click that, and then we should see wither skeletons. Yep, there they go. It's rather loud. I don't really need them on, and that should take care of them. Okay, good. Everything just goes right into here, and I've finally, finally got an Xnet to throw away all the extra stuff like the swords and the helmets and all of that stuff that doesn't stack. And yeah, yeah, I figured out how to throw it away. So you see, we've got two additional items on here. We've got ink and tree farm. So if we click on tree farm, let's go over here. You can see it in progress while it does its thing. And we'll just let it run through once. Yep, it's taking care of the leaves right now. So we'll let it take care of this and then we'll turn it off because we don't really need any more wood we've got 1130 stacks of oak wood and 455 stacks of oak saplings i think we'll be good for a while that's why i have it turned off so that should be good to go here soon we can turn off uh, that that thing on here and that just controls the tree gatherer not the planter so yeah uh, the other thing of note notice we have 102 stacks of ink sacks. If we right click this thing, it controls a, uh, what is that? A rancher? Yeah, rancher. That is taking care of, or is pulling ink sacks from Squidward right here. And Squidward has donated well over 6,000 ink sacks to the cause of our base here. Yep. So we're doing pretty good. 
If we go into this room, we can see that uh, I hadn't really done anything with this one. We had our our AE2 machines in here, or the AE2 stuff machines, and I've moved those over because we're auto crafting with them now. And we've got our interfaces plus molecular assemblers right here. If you've been watching my Direwolf 20 series, you will have noticed a pretty similar pattern right here. Probably need some more of those, but I don't know where I'm going to do that. Maybe over in this section, I don't know. But we've got two computers now. There are two crafting computers right there and right there. And I'm going to be expanding those, but I've run out of glass. Oddly enough, yes, glass. And it's one thing I have forgotten on my whole AE2 auto crafting journey. Anything new in the machine world? Nothing here. Did I... I finished in there. Okay. And over here, we see that the walls are kind of pushed forward a bit because uh, it's a facade. If we go up here, let's get rid of that one too. You can see we've got, uh, let's see, let's turn this back on, shall we? Okay. Yep. We've got uh, some egress back here so that we can handle all of the cords and fun stuff for auto crafting, but we've got the ME cables going right here. We've got interfaces touching all of these things. And then we've got the power cables running to all the machines. And let's close that back up. Similar over here. And I have two extra laboratory blocks and I don't know why. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, we've got right here. This manufactory from the nuclear craft mod is is giving me um, silicon and uh, that's because I haven't quite hooked up the industrial foregoing machine and maybe I should do that uh, I, you know what I'll probably do that and then over here we've got interfaces that are handling pulverized things we've got two sets of those and then the pulverizers are on full blast resonant level and we've got all the auxiliary reception coils in there so eh, they handle it pretty quick it's not the fastest in the world but or it's not the fastest I've seen, say, like in... Well, no, Ender I.O. was kind of slow. So I guess maybe the pulverizer is fine. I, I don't know. You tell me if there's some other faster pulverizer out there. We've got the induction smelter that's handling some of these basic... Or these other, uh, I guess, alloys. It's not doing... Not doing much... Well, let's see. Yeah, so we're doing... We're doing some induction type stuff. Throw some sand in there with a blend. And we're good to go, but... Some alloys in there as well. If we need to, we'll expand that, but right now we don't need to. Right here we've got compactors and those are making gears. They're both set in the gear mode and you have to have a gear working augment for that, which is kind of cool. Over here, uh, let's see. you know what? That is not full on resonant. So let's take a look, shall we? Uh, we'll make one resonant upgrade kit. And then we'll also make reception coil. We'll do that. And we should be able to make both. Excellent. And we've got that here. And then the upgrade should be showing up somewhere in here. Uh, I could type it in. There it is. Okay. Good, good, good. So we'll do this and then that. All right. So that thing can hold more RF, the, the compactor can hold more RF and it should go a little bit quicker. Over here, we've got magma crucibles for each of the different types of liquid that we can do there. We've got the destabilized clathrate. Let's, let me show you how this is set up. So what I've got on each of the magma crucibles is an export bus. This one is throwing out the resonant clathrate and then the, the magma crucible just smelts it up throws all of that up into this tank and then we've got a fluid storage bus can you see it is it going to show us yeah there we go fluid storage bus reading the contents of that tank and and so there we go do that and close up and i've got the resonator in there that is doing some extra utilities work i still would like to know where i got those laboratory blocks from but oh well you win some you lose some over here we've got uh, there's the advanced subscribers, one, one pattern per each of these. This is the basic level stuff, so basic presses right there. Then I've got a charger that handles charge service quartz. And then over here, 
we've got one of these inscribers for each of the pattern types or each of the processor types. I could throw all three patterns in there, but then if you've got a pattern that needs all three of them, you're going to have a backlog so or a bottleneck. So no bottlenecks there. Over here, we've got the crystal growth chamber that can handle a bunch at one time, including Fluix crystals. So this is a lot easier than when I had to do that in Infinity Evolved, but we got it done. It was it was kind of convoluted, but it was kind of fun to put that together. But the AE2 stuff mod certainly, certainly is a big help there. Anything more to show off here? No. And I still would like to know. I know where this came from. I cut out a hole for the other computer. So we're going to do that there. Next order of business, we need to show off the auto wither grinder. Um scratch that let's we will show the auto wither grinder but what i want to do real quick is show you how this thing works uh, i used to have a servo pulling the items out of the plant gatherer right there and instead what i've got is a retriever now on the plant sower and that just pulls oak saplings and then over here this is a retriever and it's got a blacklist of nothing it just pulls everything out of the plant gatherer i do believe I've got that set up correctly. Yes, okay. And no other changes up top. So it's still sending out the sludge and we're taking care of that. But over here, we've got a redstone receiver that is pointing into a redstone relay. And that's why I needed uh, to switch from a servo here to a retriever right there. So I could put the relay on here. And so if we right click, this is output. It's on the ch red channel. And then over here, if this is input, on the red channel and the screen controller has a button module tied to this redstone receiver we did the same thing over on the squid farm right here pretty similar right so the retriever goes over onto the inner chest and then we've got redstone relays controlling that i think that's all we've got there otherwise the buttons are controlling our our redstone proxies right here so other than that, I haven't been running the mining thing. I probably, well, this one is running. I probably need to upgrade this now because we need more sand. Although I could, I could go with some more of those industrial foregoing items. Maybe one exporting sand, one exporting silicon, one exporting glass. I don't know. We'll see. Next order of business uh, and the final order of business really is to go take a look at this thing. Before I throw, um, before I throw one of these in, let's go here and we'll say show working area. So what I've got is a box made of palladium and palladium is a witherproof block. And inside, uh, we, we should be able to just take a quick look here. Uh, did I lose those? Yes, I lost those. They went back into the storage system because I've got a vacuum hopper. But that wither builder builds the wither right in this box right here. And we probably need to go get our palladium back. Let's do that, shall we? Let's type it in. Palladium. Okay. We'll get a whole stack because why not? We've got plenty. So what, what happens is we've got a servo that pulls from that storage crate pulls the items into into the wither builder and then the wither builder makes the wither and we've got power coming to it signal and plated impulse item duct i don't know why we've got item duct on there we just needed rf huh interesting yeah, so I can switch that out for some flux duct. But anyway, this this power cell is powering both the wither builder and the draconic evolution mob grinder that is taking care of the wither. Over here, we've got an absorption hopper that's sending all the fluid, which is the XP, over into a fluid trash can. And then all the items go into here. Aha. And we got a bow. Because probably a skeleton showed up in there but we can close that 
and then we'll close that off and then let's just chuck those in there and back up because it can get rather loud you can see we've got a wither now and we'll get three in there it does at most i think five or six at a time I'd, i could be wrong about that i've thrown a couple stacks in there and it was just fine that's rather loud to back up and i didn't show you the nether stars in our system beforehand but yeah we've got some more nether stars in here we've got plenty we'll be able to do the next few things we need to do yep sure enough i had 261 you'll just have to take my word for it but 261 now we got 264 so next order of business is uh, we need a roof in here and then also we probably need to dress this up a little bit more maybe get a real door here and what i'm envisioning for the design is we'll leave most everything intact up here uh, i see we've got uh, i need to fill that in with some dirt and then fill in over here with dirt but what i'm envisioning is kind of this bunker that's got a little bit of a laboratory feel peeking through but ultimately it's hidden behind rock so and then we'll we'll do some cleanup over here as well and then we need to maybe bury this probably put this into the ground somewhere around here and then it is time it is time to go and get going on advanced rocketry so that's going to be our our next push between now and the next time we're together is advanced rocketry machinery let's go down here since this is really where i've been spending a good portion of my time so hopefully you enjoyed this walkthrough of the latest updates for the base here on hypermind modded if you have any comments questions or suggestions feel free to leave those in the comment section down below keep in mind i'm going to be pushing to advanced rocketry and then maybe we'll have a rocket launch the next time we're together. Who knows? Uh, no promises. We'll see. There's a lot of multi-block structures that need to be built. There's a lot of decorating I still need to do. Uh, but I think we'll have our final base design in place by the next time we're together. And then maybe, maybe going to the moon. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.